Hello guys, this is Vaish. So today is June 2 and Friday. So we'll discuss the science MCQs. So 180 episodes are done. If you're a newcomer to this channel or preparing for 2024, you have to watch right from episode number one. Okay. Every day, five, five MCQs are done and we'll not be repeating the questions. It's all questions which have been come in the last 11, 12 months of current affairs or uh, static science, history, geography, everything. Okay. Every day, our teachers are doing different, different things. And this week, I've done a lot of videos that you have to watch uh, because uh, these all explains how uh, different was 2023 exam. Was it difficult? Did the Vaisha uh, teach you the questions which came in the exam? Every kind of aspect, okay, like why some coaching classes have failed and why uh, without sticking into basics, you cannot clear this prelims because question pattern has changed. I agree. And it was very, very tough exam. Okay. But still we in our test only covered basic NCRTs, basic uh, uh, standard like Spectrum, Lakshmikanth, that basic 10 books, right? 10, 12 books that only we compiled and put in our test series. That is why in our test series directly or indirectly, many, many questions were solvable. Okay. It's only up to how many people studied it throughout the year. Okay. Because you know, students uh, will buy uh, at least four or five test series. Okay. And they are like confused, like which one should I uh, stick to till the last moment? They don't stick to one source. That is why students are failing. Okay. So here I'm uh, trying to uh, search, okay, this Vice versus UPSC, each and every uh, question. Okay. Like here, if you see this presence act one question, this uh, I did not teach you. Okay. So like that, what we taught you, what we did not taught you. you see this is a repeated question 2023 21 20 14 same thing like what is the purpose of the constitution it is limiting the powers of the government that same thing they have asked it multiple times year after year so that again in our test series it's there and here if you see the amendment which was the amendment which is uh, uh, stopping the judicial interpretation that is a uh, the amendment number one okay first itself that ninth schedule insertion ninth schedule was asked last year and this year they asked the amendment related to it it's just the same question but they asked it in a different format like that each and every question okay see due process of law detailed notes are there it is like fair application of law and then again like this uh, each and every question okay which came in polity or history history polity i think almost everything was solvable from our test series economics a few questions are there then science was a little tough. It is, I think we didn't cover most of them. Uh, current affairs, everything we covered. Maps, everything we covered. Uh, even the African rivers, African locations, everything was there in our test. Okay, so 30 to 35 questions, I think easily I can show you by tomorrow or by June 5th, I'm targeting. So just uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'll show you. Okay. And whichever we did not teach you. Okay, like suppose I uh, taught you only 40 questions. Remaining 60, I did not teach you. That also we'll tell you which we did not teach and why it is not taught, why it is not found in any other textbook. It is a very, very uh, shocking kind of question that everything I will tell you. Okay. So subscribe to this channel if you are new and uh, lectures. Okay. Lectures, uh, please watch. Today, I have taken questions from the 2023 prelims only. So science question, science today, right? So science questions, I'll show you. Consider the following statement. Carbon fibers are used in the manufacture of components used in automobiles and aircrafts. Carbon fibers, once used, cannot be recycled. Okay. So these are the, which of the statements are given. So this was a, a, a very rare scenario this year where they asked statement, normal statement. Instead of asking one pair, two pair and all, they ask you the normal uh, statement type question. But again, because it's not three statement, uh, you have to individually know both the statements here to solve this question. Okay. So this is a 2023 uh, prelims question for which answer key next year on date will come. Uh, but uh, anyway, I will teach you. So here, if you see this uh, cannot be recycled, I told you when negative statement comes, okay, there'll be something which is being used in uh, today's age and uh, which cannot be recycled means that is a little absurd statement. Okay. Something is there. It will be obviously recyclable. Okay. Maybe it is difficult to recycle, but it will be recyclable. So here answer will be a statement A. It is indeed used in the manufacture of components of automobiles and aircraft, but uh, it can be recycled. Okay. There are technologies. So carbon fibers can be defined as the fibers with the carbon content of 90% or above new class of material. They are replacing all the materials which have this high stiffness, low density, Whenever you need there, we are using carbon fibers now, replacing all the existing material. Okay, it's like long thin strands of carbon and how you achieve that long thin strands, it's mentioned here, heating the carbon containing material such as this uh, pan, rayon or pitch uh, to a very high temperature in a inert atmosphere. So this, uh, if you see next year, maybe they'll ask about this pan. Okay, poly, acrylo, nitrate, that is what will happen. UPSC always when they ask a topic, the subtopics of that is asked year after year. Okay. So now here, if you see uh, carbon fiber composites are normally replacing steel, aluminum in automobile, aircraft, shipping industry. That is the first statement which was asked. Then it is not biodegradable, but it is recyclable. Okay, even though it is difficult to recycle, uh, it is uh, having several technologies. It can be recycled. So here some methods are given here. Again, not very important, but still, if you want, you can note down. So this is the maximum you have to study about carbon fiber. Don't do too much research channel. Okay, in case in future, uh, if it repeats in uh, any other form. Then question number two. Uh, which came again this year three statements are given okay it's like three uh, applications you can tell science application so detection of car uh, crash coalition which result in the deployment of airbag almost instantly then uh, detection of accidental free fall of laptop towards the ground which result in immediate turning of hard drive then detection of tilt of the smartphone 
which results in rotation of display. Meaning, have a phone, you are holding like this, and then to watch a movie, you will hold it uh, like this. So that time, the tilt which is happening, right? The tilt and all. Uh, they are asking in which of these things, okay, is the function of the accelerometer. This is the question here. So whenever I told you long back, uh, even though the pattern is different this time, like they are asking how many uh, pairs, only one, only two, all three. They are asking how many pairs means you have to know how many of them are correct, not like which of them are correct. So here actually answer is all three okay everywhere see all three uh, this accelerometer is used and that long back remember when you science, study science technology question like uh, oled display is used in what and option one two three it will be always all the above all the above that same question they have now uh, changed into the new pattern that's all application level of science when it comes 99.99 percent it will be all the above okay so here all of them are places where accelerometer is used okay so here you see key applications of accelerometer in vehicles for airbag detection and sudden shock and these things and all as a sensor you will use or rotating machinery wherever rotating uh, desktops laptops tabs smart smartphones everywhere there also you can use okay sensing the gravity and then doing the work that is what these people the, sorry this thing do accelerometer it's an electromagnetic mechanical device that detect the acceleration of an object by measuring the vibration of the object okay the vibration which is in turn measured as a change in charge is measured by the accelerometer so this is how it acts like a sensor actually so this is the second now third question which came this year with the reference to the role of biofilters in recirculating aquaculture system consider the following system okay statement so there is something called this ras recirculating aquaculture system they are asking the role of biofilters so biofilters provide waste treatment by removing uneaten fish feed biofilters convert ammonia present in fish waste to nitrate biofilters increase the phosphorus as nutrient for fish in water okay so how many of the statements are correct again how many of the statements okay so here the answer here will be one of the, it's not everything everything is not correct because this increasing the phosphorus you know we are trying to eliminate phosphorus and all these this uh, agricultural uh, waste going into the water and then the algal bloom happens and many many problems happen because of too much nitrogen or phosphorus going to water so do you think we'll invent something or use something which is going to increase phosphorus in the water that reason this is out is actually uh, it removes it eliminates these uh, unwanted toxic materials see that's what it does provides waste treatment converts ammonia because ammonia can be toxic uh, so it will be converted into uh, nitrite and then later convert to nitrate so this kind of things are what is done by biofilters it's actually filtering not adding something to it okay it's a filter so it will be filtering something this is how you should have solved this question but i know in the exam hall it may be difficult because i don't i don't think even current affairs we covered it i am looking for it in the last 12 to 15 months current affair if if i have taught you i will show you else i will also tell it's a difficult question and uh, no coaching class would have taught you this okay so answer is b only two now i told you the disadvantage of this year suppose uh, you thought that uh, phosphorus thing is correct and this uh, first one is correct and you think the second one is wrong okay meaning your answer is suppose one comma three still you will also get mark okay because you are going to uh, select two pair a person who studied and went and selected one comma two and you without knowing the two comma three or one comma three all of you will mark only two so everybody will get marks so this is the one biggest blunder which i have already explained in with examples of at least 15 questions uh, which came this year like this simply by knowing the count without even knowing the correct answer such people are going to write names this year okay so here what is that system i told you minimize minimize the environmental uh, pollutions and uh, nutrient uh, discharge and all so it's actually controlling that okay the last line if you say remove the phosphorus waste and do not increase the phosphorus content okay so that uh, ammonia second step also you see uh, ammonia will be with a uh, bacteria converted into nitrite which is but again toxic so they will again use some bacteria and convert to nitrate when it becomes nitrite to nitrate then it will become a little bit uh, non-toxic okay so that's the purpose of this full thing okay remove the waste and remove the toxic things not increase anything okay now question number four consider the following objects which is like in space okay in space the descriptions and uh, this thing is given so if you see this is cephates nebula pulsar this i think everything is there in our science and technology test we gave you five tests or at least in our daily plums we would have covered this already or for science we have a separate video five five video only five or six videos a lecture series is there they are also discovered so everywhere this was easily solvable this year okay so it's just a definition they are asking what it is and here they have actually simply interchanged this and this so with that you will know this is also wrong this is also wrong and this is correct answer will be one pair okay here only one only two only three answer will be only one pair so they have simply interchanged the one and two at least one of them if you knew at least uh, nebula or suffix you know you could have understood both are wrong okay because they have interchanged it understanding so here explanation suffix are uh, suffix variables uh, which uh, brighten and dim periodically see brighten and dim periodically is actually the first one suffix so it will like uh, you can use it as a yardstick or a, a measuring uh, thing to measure the luminosity or the brightness of the objects in the sky you can use this suffix the nebula if you see is a joint uh, sorry a giant uh, cloud of dust and gas see giant cloud of dust and gas is nebulae okay so this again in the like kind of uh, uh, collapse also and when the 
meaning a star is dying also a star is getting born also that's why it's sometimes called star nurseries or birthplace of stars okay so there uh, these things you can find okay this cloud of dust of uh, gas and uh, uh, this uh, cloud of dust and gas okay so that is why uh, this definition this is what the only thing they are they did not ask you any name of a nebula or when it was discovered who discovered it which telescope you used that and all they didn't ask you okay definitions they asked the pulsars are rotating neutron stars neutron stars observed to have pulses of radiation at very irregular inter uh, intervals that typically range from milliseconds to seconds they are formed when the massive star runs out of fuel and collapses okay that is what exactly in the question is given massive star runs out of fuel and collapses so that is the pair which is correct only one okay again in the exam hall if you instead of pulsar you thought okay nebula is the only one correct still you will also get mark okay that is the problem with this year now which one of the following country has its own satellite navigation system this is a very easy one and we also covered in i think our revision charts also in our test series also everybody would have taught you it's a very simple thing because india when they launched their navigation satellite the uh, navic or the you know that other one irnss that is the name of it you have seven eight satellites one was uh, damaged and we sent the eighth one recently again so that is why it was in news so instead of asking india's uh, satellite system they asked the other one so that one again we have listed out all the things in our test series also so here answer is d japan okay the world's one you know the global navigation gps is what we also use the uss gps the glonass russia galileo european union and bido china they have the global one and regional ones are navic and uh, uh, qzss that is the quasi zenith system of japan okay so this was a very very easy question still if you are telling that this was tough and you didn't do it then maybe the source from which you are studying was a very wrong source okay so please change the source this year at least and uh, study okay properly study because vaisha is an all covered i i told you 30 40 questions have easily come directly and i think this year's cutoff will very will be very low around 80 marks meaning that 40 questions which we taught you at least we have done you would have cleared okay we are not telling you 40 topics we taught you 40 that exact questions we have taught you that exact topic okay about this uh, thing and all we have made separate separate questions so please uh, study from the right source and uh, i hope you won't skip these videos at least now it's a new year Uh, start nicely this academic year study properly for one year and you should clear you don't have to do multiple sources very limited sources but do it repeatedly again and again you will clear prelims okay prelims is the toughest stage in the prelims mains interview and you have to get through okay to get through you have to be very sincere with one source okay so i'll wind up thank you and have a nice day